Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this very different video from me today here on the channel where I'm going to be playing some EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. Over here we have our lovely wonderful golfer, Mr. Harry Kane, <laughs> who is currently competing on the Asia Pacific Amateur Tour, trying to earn his uh, professional status. There's a lot of explanation for that. And a lot of um, story behind that, uh, which people who have been watching my live streams on Kick will be very familiar EA with. Sports. For you, however, here on YouTube, Pacific you just Golf need to know that we're in the third in round partnership with a Masters of this um, and tournament. The RNA proudly presents the Asia We've got a 15 under lead <laughs> currently after two rounds. Today, it's live third round coverage of this most coveted amateur And basically, we're just playing the amateur the tournament at the minute. Region. So we've got in our tower this, the 18th green. we've got the Lake Masters, by my side. we've got the, the British course, Open and the US Open and to um, go and participate in this year. Hopefully doing well enough that we get invited to Q School is at the end of the season, He's got a sizable advantage which if we then do well at, we will get to uh, uh, earn a place on tour. Now, whether that is PGA Tour, or one of the other tours, I haven't yet decided. But we're going to grip it and rip it to start with. And Harry Kane is going to get us off to a flyer in this and third round. Just fine. Good drive there to get the Saturday round underway. Nice little drive there. Just a cheeky little 325 yarder to get us started. So from a little more than we're not going to worry too much about this, that. His second. Right, we're getting a nice little finesse shot now, do we? Okay, right, we've got four mile an hour wind. Uh, we just want to just, just feather this one in there. Just feather it in. Oh, look at that. Like a pro. <laughs> now, of course, I'm very I familiar with um, golf, as it was my former career in real life. So I've always had a bit of a thing for playing golf games, and obviously this one came along just uh, back in April. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I picked it up, having not played a golf game for a lot of years, par. because obviously golf, despite being a former career, is also yards, one of the, um, take to um, the if you like, one of the contributors to one of the worst times of my life, <laughs> and um, a lot of bad memories as well, it so opens up a lot of uh, traumatic um, stuff, and makes me remember a lot of stuff that wasn't too pleasant about um, playing the, the, the wonderful, wonderful game. And my time in it, and unfortunately, when my time in golf came to an end, it didn't end on my terms and on happy terms. Um, but it is what it is. And I picked this game up not too long, like I say, back here, back before Easter. Um, well, how about this? I've got a friend, obviously, Mr. Helgi, who Maybe people will know from my farm sim stuff and everything, place. who plays the game as well and we regularly play online uh played many streams going head to head with him and um i haven't managed to beat him too many times i'll be perfectly honest i think my record stands that i've beat him three times and he's beat me about 300 so far but he does play with a lot of cheats he does he does play with a lot of cheats installed and stuff whereas i don't i play the game properly on to the third at 446 yards. But yeah, we're trying to get through career mode. Yeah, now, I had already previously started America, career mode in the game and had been doing quite well with it. But then, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, the game crashed on me midstream on kick. And when I managed to reboot the game, my career progress had been lost. Um, all pro career progress had been lost. Fortunately, I was able to save the golfer himself. And all my equipment and stuff that I've unlocked so far and stuff. But unfortunately, the career mode appeared to be completely busted. Because it wouldn't even let me start a new one. Um, but after yeah, a lot a of nice fiddling around and yeah, tinkering yeah, with game files and stuff, I've managed to get to the point where I could start a new career mode. 
and rather than start on the UK amateur tour, which is what I did originally with this guy, um, I decided to um, basically um, pick one of the other tours because there are unlockables. There are unlockables and achievements for completing um, the other tours in the game. So rather than like creating another golfer down the road and I figured, hey, I get to do two... I get to unlock twice as many achievements with one player. That will be good. He has a 12 footer here. Um, why is he called Harry Kane? Well, originally the golfer was named after me because obviously I like to create myself in the games. However, the um, the um, uh, uh, creator golfer feature of this game is not very in depth. There is very limited options available to you. For example, you cannot pick and wear any kind of glasses, sunglasses or anything like that. So unfortunately, I couldn't make him to look anything really like me. However, very uncannily, it was picked up by people in my chat on my live streams. That he looks an awful lot like the Tottenham striker Harry Kane. And it's just bred this whole meme, if you like, on the internet, on kick, where basically Harry Kane, having had a very disappointing football career with Tottenham Hotspurs, <laughs> never having won anything, has decided to uh, turn his um, attention towards golf. He's, he's, he's decided to go down the Gareth Bale road, ladies and gents. Um, and um, this is gonna try, try his hand at pro golf instead, where hopefully will, he's more likely to pick right up a trophy or two. <laughs> he thinks. The big drive um, got him here. Now a short one for his second. Yeah, short one for his second. Right, okay. We're going to try a spinner shot here, ladies and gents. Not usually very good at these. But basically, I'm just looking to get the ball close. And like I say, I'm just looking to get the ball, get Harry here, Kane through the amateur circuit, back onto the pro circuit, because I want to make some money so I can buy some upgrades for him. Buy some specs to yeah, equip him with. Um, because in this particular four, game, and he moves to clubs and equipment are just cosmetic. They have no bearing on your golfer's performance whatsoever. It doesn't matter whether you have Titleist clubs or you have EA Sports Bargain Basement Sports Direct clubs. They're just cosmetic. Every clothing, stuff like that, it's all cosmetic in this game. The only actual thing that impacts your golfer's performance are things called specs that you can apply to your clubs, your driver, your woods, your hybrids, your irons, your wedges, and your ball. And to be able to get those and equip those, you need to win tournaments, you need to earn money, and you need to buy them. And also, and specs specs are the one item in the game that you cannot buy with real money um obviously there's a lot of microtransactions in this game you can buy ea tokens and you can spend real money buying all the cosmetic items clothing clubs equipment whatever that you like knock yourselves out but i'm telling you now it does absolutely nothing to improve your golfer's performance okay absolutely nothing the only thing that makes and improves your golfer's performance are these things called specs um and like i say they cannot be purchased with yeah, real world money only in game earned and acquired and currency so you've got to grind to get all the top specs you've got to grind and i've been grinding for about 60 odd hours now with this character and i just was able to last time i played the game i was able to buy a iron spec uh, a legendary balanced iron spec and that cost my goal for 18,000 credits just pretty much all the money I've earned at this point. 
from 60 hours of grinding and playing and grinding and playing. So yeah, to get a legendary wood driver spec, wood spec, hybrid spec, wedge spec, ball spec, that is going to take an incredibly, incredibly long time. Um, it may not even be possible with one player, to, one character to do that because you probably run out of career mode at some point. But anyway, we keep Harry swinging. This started toward the left side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right and there. Like so we just keep going. We just just getting through these holes as best we can. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second. Can I do a spinner? Relatively close range. I can do a spinner. That's nice. Is that too much of a spinner? No, that sat down pretty good. A little bit so left. He sets up well for the player. Brody yesterday, and a chance for another one today. And obviously, I'm going quite quickly through this. Oh, how about All the inputs. run here? That a third you consecutive birdie. You get used birdie. to the game. <laughs> he moves to 19 under for the tournament. Yeah, I like being 19 under. That oh, that's very seven. nice. 292 yard par four. Oh, that's drivable. That is. That's reachable. I like drivable par fours. I was always a big fan of those in um, real golf. Because they're very much risk reward. So, for example, we're not going to be hitting driver. Uh, we're probably not. I'll tell you what, I've got the wrong bag. I've just realised I've got the wrong bag selected, ladies and gents. Because <sighs> I recently changed my um, equipment because I wanted to have... Um, I wanted to carry a two iron rather than an extra fairway wood. And again, we're just, just, just playing it nice and hit that a bit hard. Oh, we got it to check. Twelve feet still to go. Read the green, hold the putt. Two hundred and ninety-two yard par four, and I walk off with a par. Feels like a bit of a drop shot, that doesn't it? Almost feels like you've made bogey. That is the downside to short drivable par fours. When you don't walk off with par with better than par, you feel like you've done goofed. You feel like you've done goofed. Right, 432 yards. You can get through this. So just get down here. I'm not going to put it in the fairway bunker because that would be very silly. Harry Kane. And the only reason why I've already played thir uh, 36 holes is because I actually do find uh, in this so game that the tournaments good, are a little it? bit um, solid drive. a little bit long-winded. If you're playing 72 Just holes back-to-back -back on the same now, course in this game, it can get quite second. boring. Um, just saying. I'm <laughs> just saying. Um... Now, this could be a problem for me. Because normally, you get too much backspin on those, okay, so you want to take the backspin off. Those 64-degree wedge approach shots, otherwise you will spin the ball off the green. Um, something I'm getting used to. Okay, right it's taking a bit of adjusting to. <laughs> Especially as my wedge he play has got better under par. in the game, as I've increased my golfer stats, and he now has more to make the turn. Um, ball control and spinning and stuff. When you first start out with a level one golfer, you can't spin the ball for toffee, um, so it's not an issue. But once you start jacking in, you're putting your skill points into him, into them. 
um, suddenly you can start making the ball do very wonderful things to your favour, but then also at times it can totally work against you. And having, like I say, a 64 degree wedge is very nice for nice hitting nicer close approach shots from short range. Beautiful tempo to that. However, wind up on some fairway. greens with really like with false fronts, uh, if you are a little bit short of the flag, like here, for example. Like, if I, if, like, on some holes, that would be, like, as far as I can hit it. That's about as far as my 64-degree wedge will go. And I know for a fact, if I hit a 64 wedge to there, that ball's finishing off the bottom of the screen. Um, so, we don't want to do that. We want to try and hit it fairly close, but... See, that is what I'm talking about. Bye-bye ball. And I didn't spin that. I put no extra spin on that at all. I didn't take any off. Um, so, you have to be very careful of that. And again, on some courses, I mean, like Augusta springs to mind. Uh, the Masters, that can get you in serious trouble, spinning the ball off the putting surface. And that was a bad Ooh, ball. Maybe a I yeah, pulled that. that. By to the left. I pulled that. I felt the controller just kink. Felt the controller joystick kink off to the left. I lost control of that. Okay, a That's a drop shot. Head, as that That's one bad. Is finished off. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Very little damage done, indeed. Set to tee off on this par three. Now we get a 230-yard par three. So we've gone from a 292-yard par four to a 230-yard par three. I sometimes think they do like their long par threes in this game, I will say. And it's a bit of a problem for me because I normally have no clue whatsoever how to hit shots into this. I'm going to go for 6-iron finesse shot. This is probably not the right approach. Because it's probably going to land short and then kick. But well, that's actually worked out very well oh, for me. Gets that one to perfectly. That is very well judged. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to love those lucky bounces. Right. Oh, he's missed oh, another soft put. I didn't because that doesn't move that much. The weakest part of my golf game in real life and in virtual golf is the fact that I can't, just can't putt. I can't putt. So that in for part to start I was terrible side. at it in real life. He's I was one of these people that had like a broom ball. handle putter. Now um, at the 11th hole. Because I just couldn't putt. Um... And I'm terrible at it in the game as well. It's one of the reasons why Mr. Helgi beats me so convincingly every time we play in head-to-head um, -head and stuff and online. Because he holds putts all the time. Like, I think he's running a cheat myself. I think he's using like a putting bot or an aim bot or something like that. He's got to be. Because nobody can be that consistent. But um, for me, my best part is tee to green. It's not very often I hit bad shots, certainly with driver in hand, I can, don't tend to hook it or slice it or anything like that. Um, my my approach play typically is pretty decent. The one argument you could make is that perhaps I need to hit it closer a lot of the time. You need to try and get it a little bit closer on some of these... Um, um, shots because that would take the pressure off the putting if you can hit the ball closer to start with it makes life a lot easier for you if you're not having 10 foot ports as your you know shortest putt <laughs> that would be um, very nice oh a 
Sometimes I hold and make an eagle. Sometimes I make eagles. It's an eagle, and his sensational play continues on this backside. Yeah, I'm just gonna break the scoring record for this competition, I think. Because I'm 21 under so far. Daily quest? Right, we need a sand save at some point. Not that I would say deliberately aim to put it in the bunker. But a sand save would give me my daily quest reward thing. Oh no, I found the bunker. And oh. that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. I need to spin the camera around because I can't see where that is actually sort of uh, aiming. I'll do. We might be able to get a sand save. The lip in front beautifully and nicely on the putting surface. Well, it's not breaking a great deal down the hill. No. Absolutely perfect there down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Does that count? That means as a sand save. Probably not, because that was actually a birdie. But it's a good up and down from that sort of distance, ladies and gents. We can all celebrate a good golf shot. We can all give it a round of applause. You know, no one's handcuffed in this place. You know. And save. So we could technically have a pop at it. But I'm thinking... I'm going to think to myself, maybe three wood. Play it nice and safe with the three wood. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. And this, another fine... We've hit it close, but not too close. Which means so we get to do... Can we do a bit of, of can we do green. a bit of a chippy chip chip? A chippy chip 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 would be nice. A chippy chippy chip chip. Let's tap it in. Let's tap it in. And now I can see why some people would just play spinners all the time. Because chips are very unpredictable. We turn to Notabege the third for this look at Birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Mm. Got it there, but not quite on target. Not good enough. Sorry, Harry Kane. Not good enough. I wonder okay, he didn't win any trophies at Spurs. 13, and he'll stay at 22 under. 22 under par. And to Asia the Pacific. Hole. Amateur Championship, 457 yard, par four. Beautiful course, this. Very nice. A lot of nice courses out that Asia Pacific region of the world that we don't often get to see showcased too much because everybody obviously obsesses with the PGA Tour and all that kind of stuff on the telly. And it's very rare that they actually play outside anywhere, any courses outside of America. It's going to be up the left-hand side. I'm hoping that's something that maybe the um, um, really lovely, wonderful uh, Live Tour might do a better job at showcasing um, courses well, from as we like more to say, of the amazing. globe. Um, so a big drive. Going to do a spinner. Not much needed to carry here for his second. We are going to do a spinner. We are.
caught slow. And it's going away from the hole a little bit. But it could have been much worse, I think, we'll all bring. Oh, lip out. Right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. That's something that's been relatively recently added into this game in one of the updates that EA have done recently was adding the um, lip outs and stuff. Because usually if a ball hit like the edge of the hole, it used to just, it would be in. You just had to hit the edge of the, you know, a part of the hole and the ball would always go in and be counted as hold. Now it doesn't. Now there's a lot more realism to it. If the ball hits the edge of the hole going at the pace, there's a good chance it's uh, it's uh, going elsewhere. I notice this course is quite gusty as well with the wind. Most of the American courses and that that we play in the game, in in various game modes, the wind tends to be fairly like one one speed. That one, <laughs> in one direction on whereas Chance here it, it gusts it, it varies strength the whole time makes it a lot harder to get shots anywhere near because you know the um the ball's not going to be subjected to the same consistent resistance when it's in the air any better than that Harry Kane's just slowly working all these putts okay, in. A solid par here We've got three the holes to play in this round. And, he'll remain and we're right one step closer to um, winning this competition. Stepping up to the and then, like I say, we've got three more amateur competitions to go before we get invited to Q School. We then have to perform well in Q School to get an invite then to either the Kenny per Ferry Tour or the PGA. Obviously, if we win Q School, we get an invite to the PGA. Uh, tour. If we don't win the don't win Q school, but have a fairly decent showing, uh, we can get an invite to the the Kenny Ferry um, tour, which is like for the football people out there, the football fans That's of the world the out side. there. If you consider the PGA tour like the Premier League, out to be like the Kenny Ferry Saturday tour is kind of like the Championship this, League One type tour. It's a it's another avenue. That you can go so in, get some good experience. Go He'll set up his second, um, get some good experience four. at, obviously, tournament golf, um, and hopefully earn your way onto the um, PGA Tour via good performances on the Kenny Ferry. Obviously, you can still qualify for the major tournaments via the Kenny Ferry. Um, there, a so here at definitely 16. not one to he's gonna move avoid. To 23 under par. One final par three to get through here as we reach the 17th hole. Nice 100. See, this is more my kind of par three that I expect to see on the golf course. Round about 160 yards. A nice, you know, sh mid to short iron. You know, something nice and controlled and simple. You know, just what we're looking for. And I'm going to hit it quick because I know the wind is gusting. We've managed to get it to stop on the dance floor. This one measures and, out to 15. Uh, we feet. just need a little putt. Again, I'm not going to worry too much. Just get it close, tap it in for par. Just gonna sneak on by. It's all about um, just just getting through these holes as quickly as possible in these tournaments. No problems there. That's I mean, obviously, because I'd already started career mode and with Harry Kane and I'd already played through one amateur tour, Q School, and through like six PGA Tour events when my five. career mode crashed and I lost all my progress. Harry Kane is slightly overpowered and overleveled for where we are now in the game. So that's why I expect him to just absolutely blitz these competitions. <laughs> really do expect him to blitz through the amateur and the Q school. Um, and then once we get back onto the like the tour, 
that's when I expect the challenge to start again because the chal the tour was definitely giving me competition. I was having a lot of um, fights with some of the pros on that. Scotty Scheffler, my arch nemesis, is, is, is. <laughs> you know. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Yeah. So it's par five. We're not going to hit um, that. We could go in there with a six iron. A six iron will roll. It will. Typically, it will roll. A finesse five iron oh, might have been the appropriate shot. shot. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe Got another chance of an eagle. Second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Yeah, that's but a we'll make a birdie. It's always nice to finish the round with a red number. That far away. Makes now you excited to come back and play another birdie. one. Whereas if you finish the round with a you know, a black yeah, number well or a blue number, a uh, you're more likely inclined so to want to chuck your clubs in the bin be doing a toss <laughs> as you're heading tonight, through the car park. With a 54 hole lead. And I've been on and both sides of that, that PGA tour in real life. Frank, dial it back a few years. <laughs> so there we go, uh, what, nine what under, yeah, what, what, nine under that, par round like? today. Well, I remember when I was 22, my first... Uh, nice eagle there on 11. That one drop shot look on nine. You ask yourself the question, you look at the leaderboard, all those players in front of you do i really fit and then after 18 agonizing holes you go i belong so of course that's a wrap for all of, of course harry kane Disney would be beating all the japanese tour. guys i mean for Thanks a start for he's about three foot taller we'll than every one of them on the road and that gives him a bit of an advantage masters. in the golf swing being at tall because you generally have a much wider swing when you're a tall player and a wider swing generates more club head speed which translates to more distance so yeah, Harry Kane's probably knocking it quite a lot further than the uh, little Japanese players on this tour. <laughs> to be fair to him. But there we go. We get our reward summary. And like I say, we've got 19,000 XP from that one round. Which takes me up to just over halfway between level 40 and 41. So sadly, no skill points assigned to Harry Kane today. Daily quest has been completed though. Um, so we can go collect the rewards for that. We also want to check what the weekly um, pack is. What the weekly um, quest is. There must be a new one. 500 golf coins. Which is the money in-game currency. Of which I have 2,675 now. Having obviously... Um, spent all my um, monies on um, right the weekly oh, I've done the weekly one so the weekly the weekly task hasn't reset yet it resets in five hours time so that's at midnight then isn't it that, that resets um, all rewards have been claimed right so yeah I was talking about the store earlier so here we've got some obviously featured items. These change on a fairly uh, uh, frequent basis as EA likes to rotate and move things. So you can now buy some new swings. You can buy some crazy arcade type things that, to put on your thing. Obviously you can buy a load of uh, um, golf shoes. Golf shoes galore, Air Jordans, Nikes. <laughs> Your Under Armours. You can buy irons, obviously different irons. Equip again. This is all cosmetic. You can either spend ten thousand golf coins or four hundred real world tokens. Um, again, you get some special limited edition stuff. Bubba Watson edition, pink driver, uh, Scotty Cameron Phantom X putter, uh, a couple of different. King offerings there. Um, I've got the Scotty Cameron Jet Set Newport 2, which is a nice black Scotty Cameron, which I quite like. I do have the other Newport as well available to me, the, the silver one, but 
I would quite like that green shaft as well. I'm not being funny. I would kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of... Um... Oh... I forget the name of it now. Oh, I forget the name of the um, shaft maker. That I used to have in my clubs. They did green shafts in their drivers and stuff. I can't remember the name. It's not Dynamic Gold. Um, and then I, I got Voodoo ones. I got Voodoo shafts in my last set of clubs that I ever used. My Titleists. 902s. 90, uh, D, yeah, was it 902s? 902? 901. D1, D... No, it's a D2 driver. I had 90-something. I had the black voodoo shafts. Um, can't remember the name of the um, manufacturer now. I know I had um, KBS Tours in my irons at the end of my real playing days. KBS Tours. And I, in my... Um, I had dynamic gold spinner shafts in my wedges that I put in myself. I had some Callaway Jaws wedges with the real, you know, Mac Daddy with the Mac Daddy grooves that got you incredible amounts of spin. Um, and then I put spinner shafts in them as well and just got crazy amounts of spin. Back spin was like unbelievable. I'd, I would strip the cover off golf balls, you know, brand new Pro V's or tailor made TPs. I would absolutely chew the covers off them with those um, Callaway wedges. These are the specs that I was on about, which raise your um, attributes. So this ball spec will give me 32 power, 67% uh, accuracy bonus, 68% control, and 79 recovery. And is only and these are only available to bur uh, buy with in-game money you can't buy them with the green tokens which are like the um, pay to win stuff um, so it's a case of keep checking these to see what is on here each day you come into your clothing um, again drivers I already have the Titleist driver because obviously I was the Titleist guy towards the end of my real playing days. I started off as a ping guy. Don't get me wrong. I started off as a ping guy. And um, ping was the major brand at the golf club where I worked. And I did a lot of custom fitting for customers with um, ping equipment. Sold lots of ping equipment over the years. I, however, at the end of my playing time, moved to Titleist because I liked the forged clubs and I liked what they were doing with their um, driver and fairway woods and stuff with the they were one of the first clubs to offer the adjustable drivers and woods and stuff whereas ping ping were very late to the adjustable um, you couldn't customize it you couldn't couldn't tweak them yourself um, and eventually obviously ping have fallen in line with everybody else and ended up doing what everybody else does you know but yeah they were one of the last to it um and like i say i quite like the um i had the i had the titleist ap2 irons i quite liked them because they were forged it gave you a very nice feel um but at the same time they were quite forgiving they weren't like a true blade a real blade blade um and again for me at the time where i was in my playing career um ping ping irons were a little bit kind of like they were either really big and chunky like beginners stuff like your ping like g5s your g10s your g2s and that then you had still very chunky but slightly aimed at the better player in terms of like the 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 i5s the i10s that kind of stuff and then they had the blades, which were like the S58, S57s, S58s, S59s. Um, but 
there's just something about ping irons that just they were obviously pings made to measure philosophy was let's make them all you know let's make ping clubs uh forgiving so they never did like forged clubs when i was playing the game and the fact that they do for forged clubs now is like wow i kind of wish i could have a go <laughs> to see what their forge clubs are like. Um, Cause um I don't think I don't think they do like any like ping wedges, uh ping irons that resemble the ones that I would be more familiar with in the game. I'm just trying to think. Who was that? Who was the golf shaft manufacturer? See, me, my brain keeps wanting to go to NVIDIA, but it's not NVIDIA. I know that the, the shafts were like NV65, 75, 85, 95. Was it Aldila? Aldila? like that i know i i recommend i recognize project x as a brand um and i think acra i don't i obviously true temper i know bs pro shaft Ooh. step plus i like that But you had like project, you had like rifle, rifle with shafts for a while before rifle unfortunately went out of business. And then we got like KBS and stuff like that. Tickets, you can come in here and buy tickets to gain entry to online tournaments that you can play in and compete in to try and win more in-game monies and stuff. I don't play in any of those because apparently there's quite a lot of cheating in the online side of things and then of course you can come into the game and buy your ea points your green tokens your real world money spend your real world money to get a bunch of points to buy all the cosmetic things you could possibly want to do on your golfer like i say i don't have I do have two skill points I have not spent yet, but I'm kind of saving up my skill points for the moment. Um, I could get a slightly higher quality of stinger, or I could go for power drive and that. That would be nice. Uh, short game accuracy, obviously, I could increase quite a bit. Approach accuracy, I could put some more, a few more points into these. But I'm kind of wondering, like, what would be the point? <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, short game accuracy would be very useful. But things like putting is a little bit deceptive because, like, three points, six points, ten points, fourteen points, nineteen points, twenty-four points. That the cost of increasing those compared to say these, where each of these little these little doohickeys I can't select that. Sometimes it glitches out a little bit, but these like cost you like two points, four points, six points. So they're like two points each. Um, and like these cost two points cost three points cost four points cost five points so they're basically like a point a piece one point two points so each of these little notches are a point but you go into like power that's seven points that's 15 that's 23 and unfortunately i do believe the level cap in the game is at 50 50 is the max like level cap so you can't earn any skill points after that 
um, so you can't like completely max out your golfer, which is where, like I say, it comes down to then your equipment and choosing what specs you've got on your equipment. So there's my different bag where I've got a two hybrid equipped and a three iron. So I've gone for more irons in that bag. And then all my other bags are the same. But basically you can mix and match it. Mix and match it. You can carry different bags for different courses. If you need a course with... Uh, if you're playing a long course and you need a lot more long options, you can do that. Take out some of the wedges, put in some more long games, big stick stuff that can give you some different yardages. And things it's all doable obviously you can come in here then to outfits customize all your golfers outfits for the different rounds that's the final round practice round um, round one round two and then obviously we've just seen that one in the round that I've played today um, again I don't have a lot of cosmetics unlocked in terms of clothing and stuff, because what's the point? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, the main thing is getting... I wanted better um, equipment, so I did get some equipment cosmetics, like my Titleist Driver, Fairway Woods, Hybrids, Irons, Wedges, Putter, Ball, etc. The Ball I had to get from doing um, challenges, um, um, sponsorship challenges, of which I've been trying to work through some of these, but I'm not doing very, very well. Because they require you to do loads of stupid stuff. Land three shots on the green. Apparently I struggled with that and only landed two. Hit all five drives in the fairway. Long drive, 100% power plus fairway and regulation. And then you've got to be able to hit a utility hybrid or wood. And then, like, Pro V1, hit a tee shot to within 11 feet on the 16th hole of Boston. I probably could do that now, actually, because I'm a lot better than I was when I first tried this. But I wanted to basically unlock some rewards. and I want to try and get the nice yellow Pro V1. Because these things are like were literally just coming out as my golf career was ending. And I would have loved to have played with yellow Pro Vs. Because I only got to play with the white ones, and I would lose them all the time. I need to go and beat some of the pros in several games. And if I manage to beat the pros, I get to unlock these nice TSI2 fairway woods instead of the ones that I've currently got, which are kind of like the chunky versions. Again, back in my day when I played golf, um, Titleist did like different types of woods. They did the D1 and the D2s. The D1s were aimed more at like the higher handicap player. A lot more forgiving little bit sort of chunkier, bulkier looking. And then the um, D2s were aimed more at like the, you know, the low handicap pro golfers. So I think at the moment I've got the chunky beginner friendly version of the woods. I would kind of like those player versions. I like the golf glove as well. I would love the golf to unlock these. So I need to go through some of these sponsorship challenges and play them a bit more. Obviously, TSI2 driver, a bit like the 902 D2 that I had. Very much still like, it looks still, has looks like the drivers haven't really changed much over time. Couple more bits of um, adjustability there on the hosel. Increasing and decreasing loft, changing draw and fade. But I would like to get the Titleist staff bag because I had one of these. In fact, I, th I think I might still have one somewhere. It's either in the cupboard under the stairs or it's out in one of the sheds. But I definitely had a bag like that. And I would like, to, obviously, to get the strap as well. So those are the things I would like to work towards. Is unlocking some of these... Um, 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 challenges... Sponsorship challenges. Unlock some of this equipment for free. G425 Max Driver. Yeah, that's the that's the beginner-friendly driver, that is. Do we have any beginner-friendly irons? Not that I know of. 
as I say, it's very difficult because they don't really have a true store in the game where you can see all the equipment. You kind of have to just be lucky each day when you log into the game that they have um, updated the um, store with something that you want. <laughs> And like I say, I did get lucky the other day uh, when I logged in and saw that they had the uh, Titleist, they had Titleist Fairway Woods available. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely having those because I didn't like the, um, I definitely didn't like having the um, EA Sports one. It just didn't look right. It looks like uh, one of them, like, like Ben Ross or as I say, Sports Direct starter set golf club things. Um, and I'm just like Sam, just a little bit irked that you can't choose to have like a broom handle putter in the game. They've never made a golf game where you can have a broom handle putter, and I don't like that. I would love to have had a broom handle putter available in the game. But there we go, then. There's uh, Harry Kane for you. He looks a lot better as a golfer than he does as a Tottenham Hotspurs footballer. He's more likely to win something at golf than he is football, I would say. But anyway, that's a bit of a look at EA Sports PJ Tour Golf. If you want to see me playing some more of this, make sure you click a like on the video. Make sure you leave me some comments in the comment section below the video. You know, I don't know how many times I have to say this at the end of a video. Leave comments! And then obviously share the video with loads more people so we can get more views on it. And, um, yeah, I would be very happy to come back and play more of this for you here on the YouTube channel. But for now, from me, C. Waddy, it's goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Cheerio, everybody.